Alright, so that will level up Yasuo. Maybe I do have a future. He's done everything. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Leona, our last meme tier deck of the day. Unfortunately, Yasuo decks are kind of meme tier these days, um, but we're gonna try to, um, you know, gonna try to make a good one here with a lot of Daybreak and Leona, and just stunning our opponents stuff all the time you know that's what's going to be about stun stun and stun we also got a malphite in here for a top end card because if we can level up malphite we get that unstoppable force that uh, stuns every single round every time we have the attack token um, but besides that we'll be stunning with a lot of other things now leveling up malphite's kind of tough you can see here we have the Eye of the Rahoric. This is going to be what we're going to use to level up Malphite because one of these on Daybreak is 10 mana worth of landmarks because you make two copies of them. Now, it's only one card. It's only one Malphite. However, we do have the ability to, to create more Eye of the Rahorics sometimes randomly, like with Raven can create one and also Heaven's Aligned can create one. Heaven's Aligned is a card that I think is just awesome these days in both the Daybreak and the Nightfall decks. With the Daybreak decks here, we're probably casting this one more on Nightfall to create more random Daybreak cards in hand, probably. But it works great with, like, Leona. Like, if you have a leveled up Leona, you can go, um, you know, play this, like, Focus Speed Daybreak for, for the stun and, and, you know, do something. You know, then play, like, another blocker or something else or, you know, do whatever else you want. But really where it shines is with Robin because Robin has all of your... Uh, all. It's always day. That's what, That's how it's worded. It's always day. So whenever you play this with um, Daybreak, you can create uh, a Nightfall card in hand. And with Nightfall, you're creating a Daybreak card in hand. So it's that second one, Nightfall. Um, you play it with Nightfall, but then it also has the Daybreak. So you get to create two cards with this. So this is one mana, create two cards if you have a Robin in play. That was a really weird way for me to say that. Anyway, Twin Disciplines protect our champions, other Daybreak cards that stun, Loping Telescope, basically because this card is way too good. Also. If, if we get lucky, we'll get the Celestial that double stuns for three mana, like that Celestial spell. That's what we're going to be hopefully going for with that. All right, let's get to it. Let's play some games. Let's play some Yasuo Leona. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, Saigoon. But if Leona's on board, you cannot have him to line to then summon something. That's a good point because you get the skill that goes out like to the middle and just like, just like blue card, red card, like with Twisted Fate. Yeah, that's a good point. That doesn't work as well as I was hoping. All right, Braum, Tarek. Okay. Concussive Palms, Homecomings. These should be awesome against Braum, Tarek. I mean, even, like, Infinite Mind Splitter should be awesome against Home Braum, Tarek, to be honest. You know what? We're going to keep. Our hand is super, super slow. But Braum, Tarek should also be super, super slow. I don't really want to see Bastion. But yeah, we're just going to save some spell mana. I'm imagining this is going to be a deck where they load up on their champions. And so stunning them and everything. And like, I don't imagine they're going to really be able to stop an infinite mind splitter. So our deck has a lot of ways to create cards, but not really ways to draw cards. So if we don't have our champions, it's, you know, kind of difficult for us to find them. But we do have a lot of power, and we have a lot of ways to create cards, and so hopefully that makes up for it. So that's going to draw the Zenith Blade, draw another Zenith Blade, kind of no matter what I do... I This would be a good winter. I guess I just sunburst that. Let's think about homecoming. We'll just get that out of here. Is for 
forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Forever at its zenith. Each life a rare jewel. Piercing rays. All right, nice. Got a free attack in. Good five damage. Comments. Maybe I'm supposed to take the the, the three four. That's fine. Well, we're kind of playing the control deck role of hopefully eventually getting rid of all their threats, like you know, mind splitter, these fallen comments, all that kind of stuff. Ooh. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? What's up, Yasuo? Get some, hopefully, no troll chant. Got him. All right. Cool. And they knew with Yasuo with me having all these cards in hand, I already had multiple invoke cards, everything like that, I will that we are going to be able to get that one. So, got to win game number one. We're playing against the deep. All right. So, we could be 2 and 0 oh right now, kind of. Uh, we just played against Lurkers, and our hand was awesome, but our, our opponent conceded super early, and so we, we're not counting it. For y'all watching later on YouTube. Are the rest of these a keep? I don't know, kind of. Like, I feel like Sunhawk's good for this matchup. I feel like Sunburst is good for the matchup. Alright, what do we toss? Okay. Doesn't this toss three? Yeah. Aloof. The Serpent's nice here, getting rid of that 2-1, but... Aloof Travelers. That sounds like something I'm interested in against Nautilus. Alright, that will be a leveled up. Okay, got rid of all the removal. That'll be a leveled up Malphite if we play that. Falling Comet against Nautilus. Yes, please. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Yeah. Alright, got Nautilus out of their hand. These isles will be cleansed. No. Bad Maokai. Danger A. Ugh. And so life springs anew. Ugh. Alright, so if I sunburst Maokai, then 4 1 challenges 3 2 3 4, 2 1 challenges 2 1. We're taking 3. Okay. But we reset. We got it. We got to kill Maokai. Wow, this is even worse. This isn't good. Wow, that was not good. Definitely wish I would have just gotten like Yasuo or Leona in play. Is a leap's only purpose to fall. The Isles will bloom again. 
I don't know, we may need this Athria. Never know. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Daylight breaks on the back. So that's gonna stun the ephemeral. that to make it three out of four for Leona, but I want to Falling Comet this. I mean, I need a Falling Comet Nautilus also. We can stun, like, Nautilus and bounce Nautilus and that kind of stuff. No, I don't want to open attack because then they get to play something and get rid of two more things with uh, Nautilus. Or with, with Maokai, sorry. Maokai. Man, I just can't ever. I kind of need to get some more daybreaks, though. Okay. I don't think that was like the best use of my homecoming to put that card back into their hand where they would then be able to stun or you know be able to just redo it again and kill Yasuo again. I'm definitely considering going either Horik into Scythria. No. Alright, Clip Dragon's good. Good. That'd be a close game. We could definitely use like Concussive Palm. That would be a really good draw for us. Ugh. Why so many of those? Never mind. This game was looking a lot better just a little bit ago. But yeah, they, they had a lot of really good stuff against us. You know, all those Jaw Hunters. They had they had a lot of Jaw Hunters, and they were awesome. I kind of wanted to spirit. Kind of want Spirit's Refuge, the Yasuo, right here, because then Yasuo gets the Life Steal, so we would have healed our Nexus for five right then. Maybe I should have. 
Because then we'd be at 13. And we'd have the, the barrier to block. I guess if I would have... No, because if I would have done Spirit's Refuge, then our Daybreak would have been gone and we would not have stunned. Right, so that, that would not have worked. So, Leona just has to die. There's not any other... If I, if I don't block, it's still lethal. Homecoming was really the thing. Demacians, bring down the skies. One blade, one purpose. I'll clear the way. Good hand. GG's opponent, good, really good quality hand. Just ever since the beginning, the round, you know, round four Malachi, but just all those Jaw Hunters, they just had a great hand. Good game. Victor Haima. All right, so this should be a glorious evolution deck. Sunburst is good against both champions, but that's, like, not for a while. I think we can send those back. Concussive Palms, I needed you last game. I don't really need you this game. This game's not about Concussive Palm. Not about Concussive Palm at all. Hey, Loping Telescope. This is a tough choice between one of these first two. Marine and Stars also sounds kind of nice, but I guess they are probably a mini morph deck, which makes that a little worse. Um, but right now, like, I don't really have threats. I just kind of have removal. Maybe we just take the warrior? Maybe just take the warrior. Alright, go towards Leona level up. Make some more challengers. My spirit shines. So attack for six. And then they get to play Victor after this. Or pass, and they pass. I'll pass. And they pass. What seems to be the problem? I don't know, you tell me. That doesn't really sound like a problem. Probably play the Heaven's Line Focus first for Pale Cascade. Yeah, they just do that. Obviously, we're not going to draw a landmark. Well, actually, we could draw a landmark. We do have one landmark in the deck. But it's still just a, you know, 5-4 draw card. I'm just taking the draw card. It's not easy to outgrind Heimer when you have three, three ones being free. It's not easy. They're looking kind of like a tri-beam deck. 
with our tri -beam deck. Hey, there we go. Cloven Waste done. They're definitely looking like a tri -beam deck. So Keeper's Verdict was a random spell they created from Flash of Brilliance. There we go. I can't enable Nightfall at all with this spell Cascades. We won't draw a card, but I can create another challenger, random challenger. that out of the way as far as like you know they definitely would have killed my Yasuo if I would have played Yasuo but got that out of the way but obviously everything that this Heimerdinger is doing is unreal Okay, now hopefully Yasuo can stay alive. I like that we drew the Twin Disciplines to help protect it. That spell gives them, draws them a card and gives them a 3-2 tough. And does the one damage. One blade, one purpose. This game kind of shows why I don't understand when people say that Heimerdinger is not a good card. Alright, so we're gonna need. We're gonna really need Yasuo to do a whole lot. Oh man, that makes Challenger also. They should they should be taking the challenger right there and having the challenger challenge the cloven way thing. Next one's gonna be five. So don't know if I should concuss a palm so that Yeah, I mean the Cloven Way is the better card to play, but I guess we're gonna concuss a palm. So that then I have Pill Cascade available also. can't kill Yasuo and also can't kill me. Basically have no spells over there at all. Ah, there's the spell shield. I was worried about that spell shield, that's why I stunned it first. 
This gets under spell shield, right? No, it does not. Never mind. I can make that keeps me and Yasuo alive. Well, wait. No, I guess I guess I can go to one. Block. Block, block. Yeah, I guess I can go to one. Their hand was really good, and Heimerdinger just dominated this game, obviously, and that's what Heimerdinger usually does. You got Heimer on five. If you can't kill it, they had the stress testing to protect it. I think. Did I have the ability. Whenever I took that 5 5 challenger, was there also the six mana obliterate? So that's what. I needed that six mana obliterate. And I think I didn't take it at the time, but I really had to. Yeah, there was. Yep. I didn't. I didn't think about stress testing, protecting, you know, and everything. Great hand opponent. GGS. So who knows? Maybe if I had the obliterate, but then again, maybe they had a second Heimerdinger. Twisted Fate Echo. Twisted Fate Echo. Well, love Robin paired with Leona, and we also have uh, the Heavens Aligned to pair with the Robin. We have the Twin Disciplines to protect. I don't have anything the first few rounds, but that's what our draw steps are for. But like this setup for round four or five is awesome. I would have preferred to wait till after Robin for that card, of course. But how it is. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? The waters nurture the Marai. I face my fate. Your turn. People block too much. I bet two one's more valuable than four life, right? Respect the ocean and all its boons. First light illuminates the land. Alright, so they got double great mother, I have double champion. Experience grants wisdom and strength. I am the bulwark against darkness. We gonna make a day break in a nightfall card. Okay, okay. Alright, so they're living the dream. They got triple Great Mother in play. I don't really need to get damage on these things. So they get six more spells, but... This will just have those be stunned. 
Unfortunately, those don't count as, like, also being stunned to level up Yasuo. That would be nice. Alright, that's gonna stun the other two. Just deal more damage to these Great Mothers. I don't know what they discarded. Ah, stop. <laughs> Trying to figure that out. Alright, make it rain. That will level up Yasuo. Maybe I do have a future. It's done everything. Oh, uh, they got they're gonna have some awesome spells to choose from with Station Archivist now. With that great mother with having triple great mother. They're gonna have some good stuff right there. A missing piece? This could be scary. That does put him down to zero. That's not very much life. So I'm hoping that's like slow. You know, maybe it's like a ruination or something, but hopefully it's slow. Oh, they discarded it. Whatever it was, they just, just discarded it. Are they shooting the 2 3? Why not shoot the 3 2? Alright, so that puts him down to negative one, which is not very much life still. Spirit fire. Wow. Alright, so that that would mean that Robin would die. I do not want this Robin to die. Alright, so what was that spell they chose They that they discarded? Feel the Rush? So that means they're getting another Feel the Rush here. Wow, Feel the Rush? More than an unsolved mystery. Okay. So let's see. Raise your weapon, Sunwood! Alright, so that spells probably feel the rush. I mean it could be something else. They have they had five options. It was Ruination? Wow. Alright, so we know in their next five cards they still have the wind. Watch your back. Still have um both of those cards. Ruination and Feel the Rush. Awesome. Whew, that was close. Karma vs. Yasuo. Karma vs. Yasuo. Okay, cool. We got another Leona hand. Let's get rid of the Concussive Palm. I don't think we need that, but I want to keep the Daybreaks. I want to get this Leona leveled up. This is a Daybreak curve right here. Am I having fun with the deck? Absolutely. Yeah, I, you know, I don't get to play Leona or Yasuo too often. And the Daybreaks looked really good right there. And I think the Daybreaks have been pretty good for us. But yeah, I've been liking it. We'll play Shield Bearer on two, even though the, the plus zero plus four probably doesn't do much, but that's alright. We just want to level up Leona. Oh, I've never met anyone like 
you. I guess I could play Solari Soldier. So it really does the same thing as the Shield Bear this round. Because afterwards, they both turn into two health anyway. They would trade with the Warden. So, might as well just have an extra spell mana. Because, you know, we have Pale Cascade, um, Twin Disciplines, that kind of stuff. We have two. So, we have the need for two spell mana at times. I guess we have to have Falling Comet for Karma. I kind of want to take this Traveler. In her radiant blessing. I think we learned with how Heimerdinger just dominated a couple of rounds ago, a couple of games ago. Water changes, but never breaks. I would like to draw one Yasuo, please. The waters nurture the Mirai. The dawn has arrived. Kind of weird that we're facing all the Mirai decks. You're in over your head. I will protect you. What form will the waters take? I don't really have anything like real great to do. I guess it's Sunhawk. Behold the divine power of the sun. We really need a Yasuo to enable this hand. Okay. Keep up, keep up. I go where the road takes me. Experience grants wisdom and strength. Stun number three. That's number four. Bask in the light's radiance. Sunburst can't save it. Alright, Great Mother got me. We we're about to level up Yasuo also. I was gonna play the Sunhawk stun too. Like if they just played like something to something else to block. They're down to ten. Heart and mind as one. Where there is life, there is hope. Yep. Cease. Yeah, opponents are really high rolling today. Oh, wait, wait, that does four damage. Never mind. So, yeah, it's just game over. Yeah, opponents are really high rolling today. Our opponents, you know, had those decks built around Mariah Great Mother, and they just did a, you know, they did a wonderful job finding Mariah, Mariah Great Mother, immediately having it, having multiple Great Mothers, and then also drawing the spells immediately. Like, yeah, they did, they did great. 
Um, that's not easy to do with that. Like those Mariah Great Mother decks don't always look like that. If you watched earlier in the week, we you know played a same kind of deck uh, that our opponents were just playing there, and it it is not that easy to have all your Great Mothers and then also draw the spells immediately. But our opponents did so. All right, but anyway, Yasuo Leona um, still felt pretty good, especially the Daybreak stuff. I really liked how the Daybreak cards looked and Yasuo with the Daybreak cards. I think those did look pretty good. I wish that we could have more card draw in here of like drawing our own cards and like just basically to help find our champions, to help find more copies of our champions. But it's kind of tough because like a lot of these, these cards that are, you know, card draw that help you get the champions just don't really work that well with the deck um it's hard it's hard to fit them in so uh you know it's there wasn't anything that any of these that i was like man i wish we had more of kind of thing but um it would have been nice to have some more four mana cards to protect the champion sometimes you know maybe like a bastion or a deny like that kind of stuff but it was also difficult to fit those in with all these other four mana cards that we already had i went more twin disciplines and pill cascade to protect instead of those two we just, we just ran into a couple opponents really running hot, you know, like obviously that Karma, that last game, and then the Heimerdinger, like those those champions just went wild. I think that I would, I would probably prefer this deck without the Malphite and just and a third Leona, um, you know, no Malphite, no Eye the Rahoric, and third, that, that could get you like a third Leona and then like, you know, one Bastion or Deny instead. I think I'd probably prefer that, but, but there we go. That's Yasuo Leona. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed some Yasuo gameplay with the stuns and the recalls. Um, but that's going to be it for this one. So there we go. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.